All right, guys, so I'm super excited to share with you my brand new tool. This is the Tri Razor by Free Salon Education, now available on Shop FSE. I'm going to show you guys how to cut this quick textured haircut using the tool. So, we're going to start off in the fringe area. We're going to braid the hair down. Now, what braiding does is it over directs the opposite side. So, it takes the right side over to the left, the left side over to the right, creating that over direction. And then you go in with the Tri Razor and you cut it. And what it's going to give is a jagged edge. But but also using that over direction, you can see how it pushes weight off to each side. So it creates almost like a little curtain fringe feel to it or a side fringe, however you want to do it. And then I split that in half. And now I'm going to use uh, one of my favorite parts of the tri razor, which is the texturizing 25 side it takes out 25% of the hair. And I just go in and I cut just to soften the density on the ends of that fringe. So I'm going to do it on both sides, uh, just sliding about halfway down the hair strand all the way to the ends, removing that weight. You can see what it takes out. Now we're going to move in to the rest of the haircut, which is going to be cut dry. Now, I know you're thinking, why would you cut hair dry with a razor? When you have a sharp blade like the Tri Razor has, you can go in and you can carve away at dry hair, just like slide cutting with your scissors, and you can create some really, really cool looks. So let me show you what this fringe looks like first, and then we're going to go into the rest of the cut. So you can see how soft that lays that angle that it creates. And now I'm just gonna take some vertical sections, pull the hair in front of me and use that texture 50 side to just glide through the hair. It exposes the most uh, parts of the blade, gives you a dry cut feel just like using a scissor. You can see it's like a hot knife through butter just slides through. These blades are super, super sharp and strong. So we'll just glide through the hair and you can see all that texture, all that movement, all the layers that we're creating just from pulling the hair to the front of the face. Now now we're going to repeat that process on the left hand side of the head. So here we go. All right, so now that we finished the front of the head, we're gonna move into the back. We're gonna use the Texture 50 side of the Tri Razor, and we're just gonna let the razor do the work this time. So what I'm doing is I'm holding a section in my hands. I find where I want those layers to hit. In this case, I want it to fall right at the occipital bone area, and I just softly let the razor work over the hair at a 45 degree angle. It glides right over. This is gonna give me more of a shag effect as opposed to a long layered effect. If you want long layers, then just start a little bit lower on that section and you'll get longer layers uh, in your end result. So uh, totally up to you guys. It's your artistic feel. I can't wait to see what you guys do uh, throughout social media posting about the tri razor. Now I'm just going to finish it up with a little pinch cutting using my Mizutani scissors. This is the Matt Beck edition available on our online store. To me, a Mizutani scissor and a tri razor are the perfect match together because you've got the precision of the scissor. You've got the softness of the razor, the texture that you can create. So uh, just go on to our online shop, Shop FSC, and you can pick up both tools to add to your collection. Now I'm just going to go in. I'm using my Paul Mitchell wand iron. Uh, and we're just going to softly add a little bit of curl to it. So you guys saw the straight version, uh, which is great, but I want to show you guys a wavy version of this cut, which is one of my favorite things. Uh, just using that wand, leaving out the ends a little bit. I like having that little texture, that kick to the end. We're going to use Paul Mitchell spray wax to finalize it. Look at the volume that we have, the skinniness on the bottom, the fringe that we created, and it happens so fast. And that's what it's all about, guys. Just being able to be consistent in the salon, speed, going through, working with your clients, giving your clients what they want and being creative at the same time. Hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and download the FSE Now app available on the App Store. Go to freesaloneducation.com. Pick which phone you have, download it. Can't wait to see you guys in the community.